It's nuts. I told you what I did Saturday. I'm like going from it, uh, and I, I bombed at the opening set. Oh. Did you? Oh, because like you know, I just rushed right into it. And I'm doing all these holocaust jokes. Like, can you? Just, I gotta get to a wedding. Right. Who are you? Fag. All right. Can I get paid? Boom. Yeah. By the way, that word is Fez's Redskins. He gets seriously upset. Oh, really? If people say that. Yeah, that's why I think I. That's why I feel so strongly about the Redskins. And you know, I'm not a big slur guy. But you know, man. But th- did that hurt your feelings there very quickly, Fez? Y- yeah. But it see, made here's... me cancel my reservation at the beer house. <laughs> It was worth calling and saying yeah. fact just to get that punchline from him. <laughs> yeah. I am a firm believer that words I believe uh, I believe Sarah Borella said it best you could use words as a weapon or a drug. I mean, basically, it's 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 I, I talk about it in my act, it's like the word nigger is like a water fountain. In nineteen it, let's pretend you're black and yeah. I'm white, okay? And it's nineteen forty and this cup is a water fountain. What do I say to you? You can't use that. Why? Because you're black and I'm white. Now let's pretend it's today. Yeah. And it's a rap song, and that's the word nigger. What are you going to say to me? You can't use that word because you're white and I'm black. Now, if anyone can tell me the difference, the terrorist, mm-hmm. the fag, I'll be glad to stop using words as harmless things because the people I say them to I love and respect. But if you can't, then I'm sorry. So you feel like we've swung back the other way now so far. I feel people think just because they say the right things or don't say the wrong things, right. it alleviate it, it makes them not be an asshole or a hateful right. person. But they are. So when you said fag, you weren't talking about homosexuals at all? Um, In the act, I, I call a guy in the front row <laughs> fag sometimes. And if he gets mad, I'll call him that nine times. Because in defense of you, I think he honestly is like a homophobe where he doesn't like gay people. So what do you call him? The one thing that will make him the angriest. Right. Yeah. But, so, and by the way, Fez, you also do not like gay people. <laughs> I have a fear of some gay people. <laughs> but you also the twinks that I feel will I beat me you. up and yeah. take my money. <laughs> you also everything he says, he's he's got he's yeah. the money man today. Oh, everything he, he, he packs a lot of punch yeah. in everything he says. But you also have a, uh, the thought of being gay was not something that you liked when you thought to yourself that you were gay, right? Oh yeah, I hated myself, and that was back when I was religious too, and just praying to God oh, to yeah. change this aspect. Yeah, that's that's yeah. terrible how religion guilts you into that. I, I know being Catholic, I hate it when they called us harps or fish eaters. But didn't the Pope... I used to cry and run home. <laughs> they called us fish eaters. Did that, didn't the Pope come out, basically, and just say, drop it? Like, without saying it's okay. He's like, drop it. The fish thing? No, the gay thing. It's like when people go... He's like, drop <laughs> well, this it. This Pope, we're still... I love this I Pope. Mean, he's, this... Like, he's like, just drop it. Who cares? Yeah. He didn't say it's okay because he can as Pope, but he can say, drop it. The which only I thought thing was awesome. I see about this Pope, he seems to be so progressive until it comes to women. And he's like, not so much time. <laughs> We're all the same under God's eyes except for the girls. I gave you There's the queers. Still, I'm not giving you the broads. Yeah. There's still a problem. So uh, but, you know, if you look to Molly's generation, they don't care who's gay, black, any like you guys don't have any problems with anybody, right? Right. You were raised not to see that. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was a conscious effort, I think, on the part of our parents and everybody right. around us to be like hypersensitive. And now you like don't that. even think about it. No, it doesn't. Like, if your friend was dating a black guy, you wouldn't even bring it up in conversation. You wouldn't even be like, "Oh, she's dating a black guy." Yeah, no, I think that would be weird. You would just say. Uh, you think it'd be weird if they dated or weird if you brought it up? Oh, I, I no, I think it'd be weird if I brought they, it up. Oh, okay. But you don't even notice. No. You think it'd be weird well, if you brought it up how much it bothered you? Is that no, what you're no, saying? No, no, just like in general. If I, <laughs> if I said like, oh, so-and-so's dating a black guy, everyone around would be like, why'd you say that? Like, yeah. what's the deal? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Why would you say he's dating a black guy? Why would you say he's dating someone? <laughs> right, exactly. And if someone's gay, you don't notice. No, I think, uh, yeah, no, I think that... Is coming out not even a thing for your generation? Not like, really. Like, kids that I know that, that came out, everyone was like, all right, like, it, you have to strike a balance between being congratulatory and then also trying to make it like it's not a big deal. Mm. See, I always start with the ill. <laughs> and then uh, that, and that puts and a foot in the bucket. Goes, that, that puts a foot in the bucket, right? <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Are you? I always say, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, are 100% you sure. sure. You, you don't tried? have to do this. Have you tried? But see, that's the. You remember in Starship Troopers, the movie was where guys and girls were just showering together and no one noticed, and it was a throwaway scene. That's where I think the future is going. Where no one is going to notice anything. Yeah. Anymore. Well, I feel like I don't know. I, I mean, disagree. as time goes on, 
I think I sort of see what um, Gino's saying about like hypersensitivity sort of swinging the opposite direction. That uh-huh. people are going to be so nervous about, you know, they're constantly walking on eggshells that they but feel like. See, I think the opposite. I think my generation is hypersensitive, but your generation doesn't even notice. See, this is what killed me to know your generation will get off the train anywhere in New York and get an apartment in that fucking neighborhood That's without even point. noticing. And you're like, what are you guys nuts? And they fucking take it over. And it's actually been bad for black people. Black people are are losing Harlem, which was unthinkable for 150, 200 years. And now you guys are going, it's rents are cheap and these places are beautiful. (laughs) And you're ruining the culture (laughs) that has existed there. Terrorists. Because you have no sensitivity to race. Where I felt like my generation was like, do not fuck with them in their neighborhood. That's wrong. Mm. Don't go over there. That's where they live. And then that, and that was considered actually wrong. But in the same time, we didn't go and ruin their fucking neighborhood. And they didn't turn around and see Starbucks where, you know, their old barbershop used to be for 50 years. Right. You guys are sensitive to nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Yeah. <laughs> Gino Visconti's here. He's going to be <laughs> in Los Angeles <laughs> Saturday, July 5th at the John Lovitz Comedy Club. That's right. At 8 p.m. 9 p.m. Friday, July 11th at Club Nokia LA with Artie Lang. And then Sunday, July 13th, that's a Sunday show, Laugh Factory Chicago at 8 p.m. Just bouncing all over the country. Yeah, it's going but great. not before I do what? The Beer House in Staten Island. Yeah, the Nuremberg. The Nuremberg Beer House. <laughs> I'm going to do an entire homage to the sound of music while I'm there. Well, when you have a German restaurant <laughs> in the middle of this Italian island, you better have a comedy night to bring people in. you got to do something. Uh, uh, now, Fez, here's why I don't think that you were that upset about language. <laughs> Because Gina went out of his way to use the word over and over, and yet you still did your plug. And I don't think, like, if George Wallace was here offending people. No, not anymore. (laughs) He's paralyzed. But I don't think that you would then say, uh, oh, let me do some plugs for George Wallace. No, and I probably shouldn't, but I'm trying to be the bigger person here. Did he? Say, oh, he said bigger. I got a little yeah, scared you there. Yeah, gotta be careful. Uh, yeah, cause, careful. Because because you slurred that a little. Yeah, bit. you kind of. You really are <laughs> upset. Oh yeah, I d- just, uh, Are you upset at me? Yes, for just yelling that name out over and over. Why are again. you giving words power? I think you're you, the one giving it power you by, say, have, by saying it's okay to say. Listen, I'm not everybody. Saying I'm not saying it's okay to say. This is fine. Everybody, just yell it out. No, like you, no, I'm you not saying. To. No, okay. don't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to. I don't, I'm Ron? not saying it's okay for okay for everyone to say it. I'm saying it's wrong to be afraid of it because you think it's a hateful word. It is a hateful word. If you use it in a hateful way, you haven't heard gay people call other people uh, faggot in like in an affectionate way. I've heard gay people do it. So now you're going to say only you can use it and I can't. It's the water fountain. Well, okay. It's the water fountain. Look, I apologize for my racist friend, Fez, who I love very much. You didn't grow up way? gay, Gina. I didn't, but now you're... did you, Fez. So you don't know. <laughs> you didn't know I, you were gay to a couple But years I am ago. in no way using it in a hateful way. Do you think I have... Do you, don't, you don't think I have a ton of respect for you? I don't think there's any other way to use it. Well, see... That disappoints But you just me. said that you could, that two gay people could say it, and it's friendly. Yeah, because they've been through it. They do own the word. No one can own a word. No one can own a word. I disagree with that. I would, I would be okay more if you said no one could ever use it ever. Then I would see that you would have a point. But you can't say we can use it in fun, and you can't. Other than that, then teach us. I think no, I, I no have told word. gay people pl- not to use that word. Fair I, enough. I, I have heard it in conversations at brunch, and I've said, and I cringe and say, "Why do you have to use See, that, that I word?" See that? Because if you don't just like the sound of the word, like poop, some people don't like the word poop, and I'm not trying to be stupid, but right, people no. don't like that word. And if you just don't like the sound of the word, I can understand that. But I would get offended if you thought in any way I was disparaging you or anyone gay by using that word, because I'm not. I think you are disparaging people. That hurts my feelings. Because you feel free to use it without even thinking of but anyone else's feelings. Because I would never hurt right, someone's well, feelings. Let's get to the, you know, first of all, Gino has thought this out as a freedom of speech person. You know yes. what I mean? Like he's, you can see that he's given this thought. Yeah. He puts it into his act. But you don't give that any regard. You think that he came in here 
almost what he said was to attack gay people. Yeah. Perfect yeah, example. And, and, yeah. I, and I, think it's, I think it's just yes. the opposite. I don't think he gives it any thought. That's think, not the Tracy. I think he tries to justify using it, but I don't think he gives any thought so, to so, how it makes people feel. So if she, there was a gay person who's a Geno fan sitting in that audience at the beer house, how are they going to feel? <laughs> Please, not as had, sad as me. Have people come up to you and no, said, because I'm a my, fan. as they say in iRobot, my logic is undeniable. I explain everything as I go. That, that water, what? Where was the hole in the water fountain argument? The water fountain argument. I understood that he came in with a metaphor for us. And I will go, remember when Tracy yeah. Morgan uh, said, my son came home and said he regarded Staten yeah. Island, and he apologized, which I don't think, he, because if you believe he owes the gay people an apology, then you have to believe he would do it. Then right. you believe he'd throw away all he worked for, and by the way, he's been upgraded to, uh, Fair. thank God. Mm. You believe he'd throw away everything he worked for to kill someone just for being gay, and not just anyone, his son. That's how ridiculous we've become. If Tracy Morgan's son were gay, sweetie, would he kill him? I don't think so. No, he's a millionaire. He'd send him to a really good doctor and he would cure him. But the point... <laughs> what? But I'm not kidding. He's steaming. <laughs> he's steaming. Stop it. Fez, do you want to come in Jim? here? Because I think the glass is, yeah. is a problem. Chris, I know you don't feel like talking today, so switch out. Um, Was it something I said, Chris? Yeah, he's been very quiet today. He switched him because thanks for the ball, Chris. He was. I appreciate it. It was literally a gift to you. I love it. He put it together with such ham and eggers that we laughed the day we saw it. Uh, and and he goes, I might as well just mail this to Gino. Tommy Jonigan was the only guy that Jonigan hung in good. with you. He hung in. With you know you. what got me through my vols because I took my vols right. going a long way. Yeah. Well, you know, vols are uh, vols are all right. Fez, you're in here now. Hey, buddy. Yes. Now, we need to know. Do you honestly think that Gino is homophobic? Yes. No way. Do you think that I'm homophobic? No. Do you think Chris is? Yes. Shelby? Yes. Molly? Uh, no. Okay. So you've thought it. I mean, this is something you think. all. The, so why do you think that I'm not homophobic? Because I've talked to you about homosexual things. I've talked to you about gay things going on with me. Yeah. And you've always been, uh, I mean, there's jokes along the way. Right. But there's always been a kind ear and an understanding person. You would say supportive. If you had to. Absolutely now, supportive. No, you know, I mean, you don't know Gino as much as me. No. But don't you think he'd be supportive no matter what was going on with you? That. He would want. Don't you think if I was homophobic, the act I do, like it? Well, I'm going to tell you, but uh, yeah. hopefully you'll get it. If I was homophobic, I couldn't do any of the act with the word gay or faggot right. because it would come across as that. Right. You can't like make jokes about something that you're hateful about. Like I couldn't do jokes about my ex for the longest time. They'll never find her body. Right. I couldn't. You hated her. I couldn't because I hated her. her. And it, it would show through. <laughs> I mean, it was terrible. Like, we'd yeah. be like, oh, my God. <laughs> right. But that's the thing. It's like, I am far from homophobic. I, I like, I have a lot of gay friends. You and hopefully that includes you, Fez. You describing your act sounds like you can't wait to find that one guy you're going to call Do you think my gay. entire act you're gonna centers call that around name. that? No. It's... No, that's, you see, you're taking it out of context. But here's the thing, Gino. He's also dropped everything that you have said. Other than that word, he cannot get beyond that word. See, you just no. hate that word, and I can respect that. Yeah. I can. But I'd be hurt if you thought in any way I had a problem with you or anyone else who was gay. And when you started by bringing up the Redskins argument and saying that's no big deal, I insta before you even got to the now other F word. I, I, you know I, I never know it said I, I knew Did it I was Did I say there. it's not that big a deal? No. I said there are bigger problems. Yeah, exactly. But see, this is the problem with America. People don't fucking listen, right. and then you're misparaphrased, and then a, a natural radio guy, but Gene said the Redskin thing's not a big deal. No, he didn't. Now we gotta go back through the tapes. Here's what I worry. I said there's much more pressing problems. Here's what I worry about, Gino. This is gonna keep you off the NFL network. This <laughs> one part of your act. I'll fold. Because oh, I'll it, fold yeah, like, like a house of yeah, cards. But I mean, they'll, this Redskins thing has gotta stop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they'll find it somewhere in a tape and they'll <laughs> bring it up and it'll become a big deal and people will write in and go, we will um, not support your product yeah. until you get rid of until Gino. Until you get rid of that, that yeah. Indian gay hater Gino. Yeah. Now, Fez. <laughs> Why don't you let anything else in that he says? Is it because of the one word? It's definitely the one word. I mean, every word that, every slur that he yelled out was, I think, really extra loud and clear. But yeah, that one is, of course, going to bother me the most. And you can't get around it and you don't believe 
anything that he says, you'd think that he's just... You think I'm a homophobic gay hater. I think anyone who uses that word and then says, hey, it's all in fun, has no idea what he's talking about and is homophobic. And here's the thing, that now you're starting to piss me off because I've never been that hokey stupid you've been watching too much like uh, package TV right. where I go, hey, what's up with the gay guy? I'm just kidding. Yeah. That's awful. And if you think that's my act, I don't have time. I don't have time to explain how brilliant the stuff I say is and how it deconstructs these stupid words that people give all the goddamn power to. You know what I do? I go on stage, call someone queer, and say, you get it? Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Now you're getting your feelings hurt for real, too. Now I'm getting aggravated because I hate being compared to these comics. That's what that's yes. what passes for entertainment a right. lot. It's like, let's just take a young, good-looking kid or girl, you know, and just have her say something, and then we'll edit nine pictures behind it. They'll say, yeah, but I was just joking. The guys that apologize for saying shit are those people that mm -hmm. can't back up what they say. Who was the guy that did a roast and then, like, read someone else's line, like, well, I didn't write it, and I'm sorry? Because mm -hmm. you don't have the power and the wherewithal and the knowledge of what you're saying. He's Give me a little goddamn credit. I've been up here 13 years, and somehow I've never been called a homophobe. Yeah. I've never been called out. I've never been picketed or anything. Right. I've had gay people come up to me after the show and say that was hilarious. I get what you're saying. Thank you. So, Fez, do you see that? After I said, hey, but it was all a joke. And then, right. oh, I forgot. Can I borrow your bike horn? No, Stop it. Here's the thing, Fez. He's saying he's given this thought, and he's bringing you this point of view as both art and philosophy that he's tied together through comedy. Neat this, little ball. This is what he does for a living. I think it's cheap. And you're and if he's so cerebral, he doesn't need to use those words. The, 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 you saying I think it's cheap is the first thing I can respect. If you think mm. it's cheap, what I'm saying, watch it, and that's fine. I'll respect your opinion, but don't tell me what I said that I said the Redskin thing isn't a big deal. That right. is not what I said. Don't tell me that I say he's a, he's a gay and say it's all a joke. I'm not that lazy, stupid comic that yeah. that, that right now probably has 10 more TV credits than me. Because society is afraid of words, rather they, they'll shit on someone and then they'll be like, "Yeah, but uh, uh, but at least I didn't say it." Donald Sterling never said the word nigger at all in that rant. He just kept saying those people and uh, yeah. But but that but, prejudice came through in right. that rant. Yet he never you, said the word. So he never said the but word. But he can't be racist if he didn't say the word, right? Because the word is what does it. So that's what he's basically saying. You can tell. If I lose my beer text, house gig because of this, yeah. dude. <laughs> And Fez, he is taking the ball with him, so don't act like he's not. <laughs> We'd you, like that Magic Johnson back ball back. Point. Those jokes were just mean. What's that? The Magic Johnson AIDS jokes oh, and HIV it, jokes. Because it was AIDS? And that yeah. wasn't my joke. I was mocking Donald Sterling who yeah. said that. You said Magic jo This isn't the only ball Magic Johnson has touched. Well, that was a little tagline. That's this, an AIDS joke. <laughs> this is so awkward. I feel like I'm with family. I'm kind of enjoying this. <laughs> yeah. It's finally like the first time we've had some passion. You really have had that thing. But neither one of you guys is backing away from this. Neither one of you guys is seeing a common ground. I have no. not said Fez is wrong completely. I've just yeah. said, I said I respect that he doesn't like the word. That's fine. Yeah. I, I, it's like some people just don't like the word. I get that. Yeah. But I did, you know, combat him when he got get combative when he said I when he you, accused of me of being one of those hacky comics. He said I think your word. act is cheap, and I said I have no problem yeah. with what you think about my act, yeah. even though he's never seen it. Your problem is the H word, hack. You never want to be called the H word. Please. It's a bad thing for a Please. comedian to be called. I've been called that plenty of times. Yeah. By your own agent. Yes. <laughs> My who? Oh, you're adorable. Fez, do you get anything that Gino has said here? Do you No, I, I stopped at when I heard that word. That a giant wall went up. And that's what and happens. I can't People climb have over words. It. You let that word control you then. Yeah. You let it, You said it. You said, I heard that word, and a giant wall went up. Well, that's a shame. If, if I was letting it control me, I would have said, hey, Gino, great great line. Keep yelling that out in your act. Now, at what point was I yelling this out? I repeat? don't know what that now, is. Now it's because where I just came and started yelling. Didn't yelling. you say you always pick a guy out to try to call that word? I said, yeah. I said, there's a guy in my act sometimes that I'll call that word, and if he doesn't like it, then I'll call him that repeatedly because I think he's homophobic, and I know he hates that. He's stepping out, Fez. He's trying to stop yes. uh, homophobia. Yeah. I have no problem with anyone. And if you think I have a problem with gay people, that, well, again, hurts my feelings. Hurt. He's hurt right now. I'm hurt. I'm sorry. Oh, well, I was hurt when I heard the word so many times. But, so you're accusing, th then I should be insulted because you think I'm attacking you when I use that word. I think you're attacking all gay people. I say we take some calls. No. No. <laughs> We're really at the end of the show anyway. But this was uh, this was interesting. I liked it. Yeah. 
I thought it was good. Fez, do you feel better about it or not? No, I don't. Okay. No, I was I'm sorry that you feel that, that way, Fez. I would hit that point. So are you mad at me? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I am. You're actually, I see you being a little well, hurt. Well, right I, yeah, I'm, I'm more hurt than anything. Yeah. I, in no way meant to hurt you, Fez. Yeah. I got angry. I sounded angry, but it was just But we hurt. were killing with the beer house jokes that earlier. That was going great. Yeah. The homophobia tour continues. Oh, so it, it is not. <laughs> it is Next not. Friday, June 27th, I'll take it I can get Nuremberger it. Beer House on Staten Island. That's June 27th at 8 p.m. Saturday, July 5th, there'll be gay bashing at the John Lovitz Comedy <laughs> no, Club that's in not LA. True. That's not true. Uh, burning a rainbow flag <laughs> in North no. LA with Artie no. Lang on July 11th. That's no. a Friday night at 9. No. Probably and then Gays not. Beware in Chicago, <laughs> July right. 13th. That's a Sunday night show, Laugh Factory Chicago Best at 8 p.m. plugs ever. By the way, you know, you bitch about, this is a nice story you put together here. You bitch about, but it's good gigs. Uh, yeah, I know. Gino, it's good to lucky. see you. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, we'll have you back again when Fez has his operation. I really we'll be hope out Fez doesn't matter me. Oh, he's furious. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I think even beyond that, Fez, you're hurt. That's the big, that's the big emotion I, here. No way I ever meant my to My stomach you. hurts. I All think right. I'm going to throw up. The fact that you apologize for being homophobic is... <laughs> I'm not homophobic. We have, <laughs> Thank we have you, come Gino. That spot. We have come to that spot. What if, Dude, what if I were to see. hug Fez to apologize and prove I'm not homophobic? Would you, would you take a hug, Fez? No, I have a bad neck. All right. See, and I didn't do a gay joke. There. You didn't do a gay joke from... <laughs> All right. That's I can't it. trust him not to choke me out. That's it for us. <laughs> See you guys in here tomorrow. Uh, uh, that's the end of my show. Uh, Things like that drive.